three, two, one. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Booster Raptor, chamber pressure nominal. Booster and ship, avionics power and telemetry nominal. Alright, we're just a little over a minute into flight. Dynamic pressure. We're about six miles away, so all the sound's still hitting us here. Hearing good call outs that power telemetry nominal that's flying straight and true. We do see all 33 Raptor engines lit up on telemetry screens. At this point, we've passed through that point of maximum aerodynamic pressure, that max Q. Now, coming up in just a little over a minute from now is going to be hot staging. So we're going to see the six engines on the ship ignite while still attached to the booster. Just before that, we'll see all but three center engines on the booster shut down. And what we call Miko, it's most engines cut off instead of main engine. We heard the tower is go for catch. Booster engine cut off. The return flag is set for true. Ship engine start up. Stage separation. All right, hot staging confirmed. Booster six booster out of six booster. lit on the ship. Booster boost back going. We heard that we are go for catch. Kate, Jesse, take out the views. Hopefully I got a booster coming home real soon. Wow, from our view here, Dan, uh, great views of planet Earth behind that super heavy booster. Right now, it is performing the Ship boost back burn. Phenomenal. Good news there. They're telling us that the uh, the pressures inside the ship are good. That is the second stage or the upper portion of the vehicle. Follow along with the telemetry on the bottom of your screen. Yeah, booster is currently super heavy. Is currently in its boost back burn. This boost back Ship burn. Avionics power telemetry nominal. This boost back burn lasts just a little bit over a minute, so we've got a little, uh, approximately 30 seconds left. We've had shutdown of that boost back burn. Up next will be hot stage jettison. The view from the camera on the left, or from the booster on the left hand side of your screen, and then tracking cam there on the right hand side of your screen. We'll see those grid fins. Booster offshore divert. And we can also see that the uh, hot stage has been jettisoned. Yes, visual confirmation of that there on your screen, which is great. Now the next... Starship is following a nominal trajectory. The next step for booster is going into that landing burn. Again, it'll light up 13 of those engines and then uh, pair down to three engines right before booster catch. All right, now just real quick, we did hear the call out. We expected... What an incredible view of splashdown that we got today. Oh, Did super heavy. Down? Yeah, I'm sure the buoy cam views <laughs> will be pretty awesome once again. So we'd like to confirm a water landing once again for the super heavy booster. Congrats to the SpaceX team uh, for making that milestone. And testing by definition is unpredictable, which we saw with super heavy splashing down in the Gulf of Mexico today, but that is exactly Uh, Relight demo we'll start of Earth's gravity. And Just heard the call out for startup. There's some light. There's that Raptor relit. And shut.
tiles. There are some missing tiles on the nose cone where we're testing some backups. There are some steel covered tiles in a couple of different spots. Uh, and there's also a whole lot more steel of the ship showing. Um, as you guys talked about, we gave it a little bit of a haircut, a uh, couple hundred tiles uh, trimmed off the sides. And that's where we might have catch fittings in the future. But ooh, color color starting to come in. So it looks like uh, things are gonna start heating up, Kate and Jesse. Yeah, fun fact, Dan, we actually removed 2,100 heat shield tiles from star calculations and simulations. This view right here is super cool. This is looking out from the aft engine bay, basically at the bottom of Starship. Um, then on the center left-hand panel, if you will, we have one of the forward Starship flats, flaps, so one of the flaps located at the top of the vehicle. Underneath that is one of the aft end flaps, like the one that we see in the main picture there on the right-hand side of your screen. Now these views, as the vehicle continues to enter the Earth, is traveling near the speed of sound. We, we say near the speed of sound because there are certain parts of the vehicle where airflow is going faster and other parts where it's going slower. So it kind of teeters there on the brink of, of the speed of sound. So. Um, once we have equal flow on all parts, then we'll hear it subsonic. Yeah, and I- Oh, and almost real quick, almost a reverse of uh, slow down a little bit once we're subsonic essentially. So I think that's about 1200 kilometers an hour. Uh, once we're down below that, that's that's when we're gonna kind of dip our nose down and, and get that more aggressive. Uh, but if we're gonna be able to do return to launch sites, uh, we're going to want to be able to fly with a little bit more of an angle of attack, get you a little bit more... Off the northwest coast of, of Australia, we can see these beautiful views of planet Earth coming in. Yeah, this is very different where we had nighttime mm -hmm. views of the, that are watching the vehicle and will also be able to tell us with this visual story that is also very, very important. And as we get down a little bit lower... And that looks like one of the forward flaps on Starship. This is to be expected. We knew that the vehicle uh, would perform differently than what we had seen on Flight 5. This is actually really good data because it tells us what parts of the vehicle on the high altitude test with serial number eight. We saw the ship come back through and I always wondered what it looked like from the ship's perspective. and. This perspective, I think, helps inform that. We will be, as Dan said, engines will shut down prior to the water making impact, prior to the vehicle making impact with the water. Our ship is doing great so far. Wow. All three down to two into the water. Wow. And with that, we've come to the end of our video. We thank you so much for checking it out. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and hope to see you back here next time. Bye.